We're here at an engineering question time at Intel in Swindon, and it's really an opportunity for the IET, that's the Institution of Engineering and Technology, to team up with the UTC Swindon and to see how that partnership will grow. And I'm actually joined by Ray here, and you're the chairman of the Swindon branch of yes, the IET. Correct, yes. So tell me a little bit about how you came to partner up with UTC Swindon. Well, basically, <coughs> excuse me, the, the IET has been for some time taking part in whatever we can to inspire the next generation of engineers. That's what we're looking for. And we saw when the UTC arrived, this was our opportunity to perhaps help with that, uh, with that progress. And therefore, we linked up as a supporting partner. And uh, we're, we can't employ anybody, but we can encourage people to join. We can encourage people to see their future in engineering, which is our primary objective. How important is the UTC to the future of engineering in Swindon? Personally, I think it is very important. One of the things we shall find out from this evening's presentations, I think, is what the people of Swindon actually want from the UTC. Our audience will be primarily engineering-based, I hope, and uh, with this, we can input them back into the curriculum to help guide what the UTC is going to provide for us in Swindon. When you're 14, there's, there's always a, a whole breadth of different choices you have to make, and it's quite a complex one. And I think, you know, some people will be very clear in what they want to do. And they will have, you know, I want to do an engineering course. I think having a dedicated, uh, a college environment that is going to be closely linked to employers is, is going to be a good environment. We may offer work placements for those students. Um, so that may be just purely work experience. I mean, from a plan transfer perspective, we are looking to, we're always looking to recruit. Ideally, you know, if you can recruit locally, that's great. So if you can have a talent pool of engineering resource and you can recruit locally, that's always a, it's a plus thing. We have struggled over many years to try and attract engineers to uh, join the company. And we're a fledgling part of a very large group and a growing industry, a sort of new clean technology industry. And we've really struggled to try and bring new, vibrant engineers in. And those that have come in have tended to lack the skills, of the integration skills, the sort of dealing with people, and the general level of knowledge that engineering normally requires. So we've seen a huge gap and a huge lack of talent there. Um, Swindon has a huge sort of um, strong history of engineering, which it's struggled over the last few years to sort of to maintain. And it's something that we felt passionately about. So when we were given the opportunity to become involved um, and to act as the uh, the lead employer sponsor, um, we jumped at the opportunity. So I have the privilege of being one of the directors of the UTC, and it's something that uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed for the last couple of years. Um, but we think it makes a huge difference in terms of revitalising, putting the passion back into engineering, which is something that we share and something that we see, want to see sort of it shared amongst the sort of the youngsters within Swindon itself. You will be under the spotlight of a whole range of very large companies, Honda, Intel, BMW, Network Rail. Um, you will be being assessed effectively all the way through that process. And the chances are you will leave at the end of that four years having five years equivalent education with two years of hands-on experience. You will already be head and shoulders above your competitors at the same stage. So when you go on to university application, going into industry, you will already have that experience. You will have been seen by a whole host of these companies. But more importantly, you will have seen the range of companies, so you will already know what industry you would like to go into. With just nine months to go before students enter the doors of the new UTC in Swindon, it's great to see such prestigious organisations as the Institution of Engineering and Technology join the other partners to make sure that the UTC in Swindon is a massive success. Now, don't forget, if you'd like to be a part of this amazing project, then you still have time to make your applications before the end of January. We'll be back again very soon with the progress of UTC Swindon.